side here. So I was invited uh, through Facebook to a group of neighbors on a street I lived on when I was a kid. And so uh, one of the neighbors, she saw some of my videos and she asked if I could make her a Seahawks in Tarja or sign type of a thing. So anyway, she sent me some pictures of what um, you know she was looking for and things, and I, I put together this little um, collection of items. So I think that I am just gonna get started on this. Welcome to Sascoda. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut out that city part the light part with the scroll saw and then it'll leave like a you know a two-layered city maybe well I resawed this piece and that is going to be for the letter so I separated C Hawks C Hawks and I'm going to cut those out I think I'm gonna try the pants off So far, so good. Seahawks. Now for the hawk. I cut the large pieces with the bandsaw and went to the scroll saw to cut the inner pieces. That was working pretty well, but then when I got to the very, very last spot, I made a huge boo-boo. All right, I'm gonna cut a new one. This time I'm gonna do it in pieces. Yeah. So I went back to the scroll saw and cut out all of the pieces. This means I just had to come in from the side, as you can see here. So I had a few entrance points, but I think it turned out okay. So I continued on and cut out all the rest of the pieces. What I didn't show here is that I retraced the pieces before each cut to help with the fit. Then I took the papers off that were left on some of the pieces. Including the silhouette of Seattle. Pretty excited about starting to sand on this like silhouette, city silhouette. Curious to see if it's gonna turn out like I see it in my mind. As I was sanding, I was seeing that it wasn't really turning out how I had envisioned in my mind. So I thought, well, hmm, what else could I could do? And this definitely was a no-go. Bummer. So I grabbed another silhouette and I glued it on to this dark wood that I had. The city line would be in three pieces now, but I liked it much better. Yeah, much better. I'm thinking of a, an arrangement like this because Seattle, Seahawks. Let's get to working on the hawk. So using the pneumatic sander, I sanded as much as I could. You can see it coming together here. Just a little bit that I was able to do with the pneumatic sander, I think made a big difference. Well, these pieces are so small that I can't do a whole lot with the pneumatic sander. So. That means I need to use my spindle sander or and hand sanding. So I get a lot of razzing about my sanding. This is really like shaping. Then I get into the sanding. 
but the resin hasn't been too abrasive. It hasn't been too rough on me. Nothing that's really made me grit my teeth. Or that needs to be smoothed over. Don's out for a visit. Sanding gives me lots of time to sit and think, and I always like it when John comes out to visit me, and I go into my own little sanding trance. See, Fox. See, Fox. And I really like seeing the project come together. So I got to looking at this and I was thinking, hmm, Seahawks colors, blue and green. I could do some green. I don't know of any blue wood, but I could use some poplar for green. So I'm here at my little scrap bin again. I put a flashlight in here because it's hard to see in here sometimes. But I've got a bunch of different colors and right here is some green. So maybe I could make the eye out of the green. I think that'll work. Well, I took some more of the poplar and this one, this is pretty dark. And I think I'll make a frame around like this. Hmm, maybe some 12s would be cool. So I cut some out. I just have to figure out where they're gonna go. Hmm. Yeah, I think in the 12s there look pretty snazzy. I like it. So I heated up the wood burner and added my Siggy size corner. Then I added what I thought was an appropriate verse. Well, it turned out a little bit light. I'm not sure why. But anyway, it's 1 Corinthians 9.24. It says, you know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize, so run to win. Or, in this case, play to win. Yeah. Seahawks! 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 Then it was time to glue up and square up the frame. Well, we'll see if that's squarish. Hey! So I'm hoping to finish this today. So I thought I'd sport some colors. Alright. Time to glue. Woohoo! So I used wood glue on the parts that I could at first and I cleaned up the excess with some water on my little brush. I put a piece of thin walnut behind the letters, and I think that gives some good contrast. And for gluing, I tried to measure, but I decided that eyeballing it onto this little thin walnut would just be better. And I think that worked. Because there were parts of the hawk that were springy, like this, I use this 2P10 activator stuff. It works really fast and you have to be ready for it. So I'm gonna show you in real time. Activator one side. And it sure, woo, comes out, woo! Activator one side. All right, glue drops on the other. Maybe not even drops, maybe just spread like so. Okay, put together. One, two, three, I have 10 seconds. Yeah, woo, there we go. Nice. So I used it on the beak section too. Then I was able to go back to the wood glue and glue everything onto that backer board. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. Hey, 
hey, I found my Seahawks hat. Awesome. I think this is ready to be sprayed. This is my favorite polyurethane. Okay, first coat down. I'm liking it a lot. Well, it's all dry. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm liking it. So, thanks for joining me as I made this project for my old neighbor in Oregon. I'm gonna get it boxed up and mailed out to her. If you have any questions or anything, just put them in the comments below and send me an email if you want. And we'll just see you next time.